All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with a video response to Andrew Higgins of Higgins in Japan. And the video I'm responding to is his one of his recent ones called Living in Japan, No Regrets. So uh, in the video, uh, Andrew talks about um, what basically motivated him to come out to Japan and, you know, just kind of giving you guys motivation to, you know, follow your dreams, follow your goals, passions, all that kind of stuff. So, um, I thought I'd kind of throw my own two cents into the, uh, the subject here. So, yeah, I know I released the video just, like, earlier, so, you know, whatever. Don't judge me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, so as you guys know, I lived in, uh, Yokosuka, Japan for about two, two and a half years, and, uh, just recently got out at the time of this recording, so, um, yeah, so I'm back home in Salina, Ohio, but I do want to kind of tell you guys uh, what my life was like uh, before. So, um, back in the early 90s, you know, move away from that glare, but anyway, back in the early 90s, uh, my cousins were stationed out in Yokosuka, Japan, and um, I was really close to them back then, and uh, they would always uh, send me different gifts and trinkets and things like that of you know, from Japan, and, uh, keep in mind this was, you know, before the, uh, the advent of the internet and things like that, so, um, you really didn't have a, uh, a flow of information about, uh, foreign countries at the time, so, you know, <clears throat> the only thing I really had that I could, uh, relate to as far as, like, Japan stuff was the stuff that they would send me, and then, like, stuff in books and dictionaries, encyclopedias, things like that. You know, that's really all I had at the time. So, uh, but in any event, I was really interested because um, all the stuff they would send me was just so uh, different from what I'd see on TV and stuff like that at the time. And then, you know, shortly after, that's when a lot of, you know, Japanese shows, I didn't know they were Japanese at the time, but that's when they started you know, gaining popularity, you know, you had your Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you had Samurai Pizza Cats, uh, I think, you know, Voltron was on earlier, and then, you know, Speed Racer and stuff like that, but, you know, at the time I didn't really know that those were Japanese-based, it was just cartoons. <laughs> I didn't know any better, so, but, you know, eventually I started, it started to build the, uh, the desire to go out to Japan and to you know, see a lot of what they saw and to just experience it, you know. And then that uh, desire was rekindled, really, when a lot of uh, the early J-vloggers started cropping up on this little thing called YouTube, you know, almost 10 years ago, actually over 10 years ago at the time it's was recording. So um, <clears throat> that kind of stoked the flames for me, you know, going back, going to Japan, rather. So, um... At the time, I was pretty much a broke, in-debt college student, so um, or a college dropout, rather, and I uh, didn't really have any good job prospects because that's when the, uh, the economy had collapsed in America, and the Midwest was hit pretty hard by it, so um, it was really hard for me to find jobs. You know, even working McDonald's, we couldn't even get that, so, you know, push came to shove, and in... Uh, Early 2010, I joined the U.S. Navy, served five years, and uh, just recently got out. So, um, yeah, I live in that uh, veteran lifestyle now. So, um, But <clears throat> two of those five years were spent uh, being stationed out in Yokosuka, Japan. So um, that was a real, uh, real dream come true for me. And... Uh, you know, it was a long time coming, and it just uh, kind of goes to show, you know, yeah, dreams do come true, and this is all corny and stuff like that, but, you know, the moral of the story is, if you have a goal, or a passion, or a dream, or something like that, you know, and you want it hard enough, you want it enough, then you'll find a way to make it happen. It may not be the easiest way. But, you know, every little thing that you do can lead up to that. Like, say, you know, it doesn't have to be about going out to Japan. That's just, you know, my example and, you know, Andrew Higgins' example as well. So it could be something like, you know, going to Italy or, you know, getting that really nice car or something, you know. So, um, 
Like say, you know, going to Italy, for example, but you work a full-time job and you got a wife or a husband, you got kids, and it just, you know, it seems impossible. So, um, there's ways to make it happen. You could just set aside a little bit of money every check that you get and just kind of build up on that and then... You know, also do some research about Italy, you know, look at some of the famous places there, you know, Leaning Tower Pisa, going to Rome, and stuff like that. Learn a bit bit about the Italian language, you know, just kind of research Italy more and more, and the more you do that, the more passionate you get about it, and the more, you know, drive you have to continue saving up for that trip to Italy, because not only has it just, you know... It started off as just a simple, well, I want to go to Italy, period. You know, that's it. But now it's like, you know, I want to go to this city, and I want to try out this food, and I want to, you know, see this landmark, and I want to talk to the locals about this. And, you know, as you get more and more specific, you kind of get more motivated to save up for it. And it's just, you know, your goals become more and more real over, over time. So... You know, I, I see a lot of stuff online about this thing called the Law of Attraction and stuff like that, where it's like, if you want it hard enough, it will come to you. You know, you just got to put out the intention, you know, I want this, I want that, you know, whatever. But to me, that's only part of the equation, really. You know, you have to have the want and you also have to have the execution to make it happen. It's like, okay, I want to go to Italy. What do I need to do? This, this, this. Okay, then you do it. So that's the part that's missing from all these, you know, you know, dream big kind of uh, seminars and stuff like that you see on YouTube and elsewhere on the internet. So, you know, there's, you know, desire and then there's execution, which is, you know, part of the equation to make stuff happen. So, um, <laughs> long story short, you know, if you want something, go for it. And, you know, don't be afraid to put in a little extra work to make it happen. You know, it just all depends on how bad you want it. So, anyway, with that said, this is the Andy Sign. Sign up for now. Thinking you guys for tuning in to this video and watch some other stuff. And I also recommend you watch uh, Andrew Higgins' video as well. I'll put a link to this video down below in the boopity boops. So give it a look and uh, feel free to su subscribe to his channel as well. And I uh, also want to thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.